Hi there crafty friends. This art journal page I created in two parts. I started it and then I got stuck at a certain point and it wasn't working for me so I left it for a while and then I was inspired by Sean Petit and one of her lovely art journal pages that I saw and then I finished it off. This is how I made it. I started by sticking down collage pieces. I picked all colors that were neutral colors, just off cuts that I had, and I stuck these down over my text pages of my art journal with some Mod Podge. You could also use gel medium or um, craft glue or even a glue stick. The reason I do the collaging, even though it will eventually get covered, is that there is some bits that will peep through the paint or the different layers once you're done and those little pieces that stick through give the page dimension and a bit of interest so i always like to add some additional layering underneath the paint you don't have to do this part you could go directly just onto the journal page or to a blank paper but i do like the interest it adds when little bits of text or little corners uh, or the ragged lines of the page peep through underneath your paints. This is a good way to use up your scraps and all little pieces that you have that you probably couldn't use for another project but you could use them here and they don't go to waste. Once the collaging is all done, and while the Mod Podge is still wet, I'm going to add some gesso. I'm concentrating on adding more of the gesso on the edges of each of the pieces of collage. So I'm not doing a flat layer of gesso over the whole page. Although I'm covering it all, I'm leaving it a bit more transparent over the bigger areas and making it darker and more um, concentrated around the edges of each of the collage pieces. This is to give it additional depth. Once the gesso is dry, I use a grey lead pencil to write some affirmation and positive mantras onto the page, just randomly, to some scribbles, whatever comes to mind. Now I'm going to add the colour. I start with my gelato crayons. You can also use watercolours, watercolour pencils, acrylics, any kind of colour that you have. I'm concentrating the colour around the edges again of the collaging. I'm really just experimenting with this at the moment. I feel that the gelato crayons are too transparent and not dark enough so I'm going to add some acrylic paint in a very similar colour to make it more bold.
I've scrapped the idea of concentrating the color around the edges of the collage pieces. This is an intuitive piece, so I'm, um, like I said, experimenting and just going with the flow and just letting the paintbrush and paint and colors take me where they want to. I have this white acrylic paint marker that I want to make some scribbles with on the page. It doesn't work great. Um, I have used it before in other projects and it's not the best quality so I'm looking to maybe get a Posca pen. I know those are pretty good but for now this will work and although you can't see it very clearly on the video it is making some squiggly marks with the white which actually look quite nice and um, contrast well. I'm experimenting with a few different things on this layout so now I'm going to use some white acrylic paint with some bubble wrap. I've seen that done before and I quite like the effect so I'm just painting some of the acrylic paint onto the bubble wrap and then I'm just pressing it onto the page in certain areas and it gives a really nice effect with a different kind of texture. I want to now add some darker color. I'm finding it a bit too muted. So I'm going to add the turquoise color with a palette knife just directly onto the page. And then I'll use a baby wipe to wipe some of it off to blend the edges of the color. I got to this point and I wasn't happy with this background. It wasn't how I'd imagined it. I've added some white acrylic paint to try and lighten it a bit and change it. But um, when this dried, I sort of just left this project for a little bit because I didn't feel it was going anywhere and I wasn't inspired. And then I saw a video by Sean Petit and she inspired me with some work she did. So I then brought back this page and decided to finish it and I'm using some some uh, off like little off pieces of painting that I've done that I'm going to cut out some hard shapes. I'm trying to cheat a little bit and I'm using a heart shape cookie cutter to try and get the heart shape but it's not giving a little pointy uh, edge at the top so I just hand draw that but it's just a rough idea to get different shaped hearts so I'm just going to cut out a few different hearts different sizes with different colored papers and cardstock Before I stick the hearts down, I'm going to do some stenciling. Um, I've got this stencil that's got very intricate patterns that I really like, a bit like a paisley. And I start off using gesso. And I find that because the intricate pattern is quite small, the gesso bleeds a little bit underneath and doesn't leave a smooth finish. So because this is art journaling and you can redo and do again, I scrape off the gesso. I wipe off the remainder and blend it in with a baby wipe 
and then I go back and use texture paste which is firmer and works better with the stencil. And that looks much better. If you don't have texture paste, you could make your own. You can use some gesso and you can use um, talcum powder or even plaster of Paris. There are quite a few um, YouTube videos that give you recipes on how to make your own texture paste. And I'm already liking this page much, much better. Once everything is dry, I'm going to add my paper heart that I've cut out. I'm going to work on the composition first. I just place them and move them around until I find a composition that I find is balanced and pleasing to the eye. I feel it needs a few more hearts in a different colour, so I've got some um, cardstock and I'm just hand drawing them quickly, different sizes and just filling in where I think it's required. I'm happy with the composition, so now I'm going to glue it down and I'm using craft glue and a paintbrush. I'm not using a hot glue in this instance as I want to be able to move the hearts around before they dry and because the hot glue is fast drying, there isn't any flexibility to allow them to move. So this, with the craft glue, when you paste them down, you can still adjust um, for a couple of minutes before it dries. Once they're all glued down, I just use a piece of cardstock over everything and just press it down to make sure everything is glued well. I'm going to add some ink now. I've got a fine liner pen that I'm going to draw around each of the hearts, not neatly. I want it to look a bit scribbly, so I'm going back and forth a couple of times and letting the lines overlap and crisscross just to give it a very hand-drawn look. I'm doing that around each of the hearts. As you can see, this gives them definition and they pop off the page. I'm quite enjoying the scribbles, so I'm going to add more. I'm writing in cursive the word beautiful life around some of the hearts.
I'm then adding some scribbly lines with the same pen all the way around, sort of like framing the page. Please subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it and hit the little bell button so that you get notification every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were inspired and I hope that you also realize that with art you can always start again, you could leave projects halfway if you feel uninspired and always go back to them like I did with this one. I'll see you again soon. Bye.